Yeah, right. Um, so in this video, it's a bit different to me previous ones. Uh, I'm not actually building anything. Um, but what I am going to go through with my top five favourite hand tools, and it's the hand tools that I enjoy using. So it's, maybe it's not quite what you would have as your favourite top five. Um, and there may be one which is slightly controversial. Is it a hand tool? Is it a tool? We'll have to wait and see. The planes are not the ones that go in the sky. Ones like this, which is the Ryder number four um, bench plane. The thing is with me, I really, really enjoy using a plane and just scraping off that little bit of wood. Um, you know, it's just a, a, a smither of wood. Um, just to make a little bit of a difference to what you're doing. Now that's not the only plane I've got. I've also got my recently um, acquired shoulder plane. I've also got a classic Magnuson block plane, which you can get um, over here in the UK from B&Q and Screwfix. And then a while ago, I also bought these little miniature Walson planes. Here's chisels. Again, it's something I've enjoyed just having a bit of work. And then, you know, all you've got to do, just gently take away a little bit just to smooth things off, such as if you're doing a dovetail joint. So some of the chisels that I've got are the bevel edge and I've got three of those, um, different sizes. I've got a 3mm, 6mm and a 12mm. It was a 12mm I was just showing there. Um, also the mortise chisel. And then we move on to my favourite type of chisels I think at the moment which are my um, carving chisels so I'm going from what I just call my beast which is an um, Ashley Isles uh, number 922 I think it is there's full links in the description down the description below for these chisels um, and then moving on to all my other chisels which I've got which the best way of showing them as if I do an overhead shot, which you will see in a, coming up here. And if you want to see some work I've done of it, I will leave a link um, to my first video that I did, which was a hand carving of a Viking Valkanut symbol. And the link is up here. So yeah, go and check that out. This is the old square. Or as this is here, you see it's a speed square because they come in so many different sizes and styles. I mean, I've got quite a few here. Um, uh, these two are, well, well core. That is a 20 centimeter or 200 mil. This one is a 300 mil uh, Magnuson square. A one that people just some people don't like to use them, some people love them. I love these. Your combination square. It's also especially good if you want to see a there, measure 20 mil, lock it down, and then you go along your piece of wood and you're marking a pencil line for see where your screws are gonna go, for instance. And you've also got your 45 degree angle. Your flat, you've got your little spirit level. Then of course something else you'll see a lot of people use in our engineer square squares. They are mostly very reliable for being accurate. That was my first one that I've got. And then I decided to get myself um, a set of them.
time to go controversial. Is it a tool? Or is it not a tool? But in a workshop, it is kind of essential. And that is the humble pencil. I mean, this is a, your classic pencil that you'll probably see used at school. Um, but then you've got different types of pencils for the workshop. Um, you've got carpenter's pencils, which are very popular. You've got mechanical pencils. And my current favourite ones, which are the Pika pencils. So as you can see there, the Pika ones. Why two, you might be asking. A uh, simple quick answer is, one is black, one is white. But if I can open that one, I'm thinking, yep, that's a black one. And then you can see there the white one, which you tend to use on darker woods like Sapili. So then here, you've got your mechanical pencils, which I've got three, three of them. Um, your classic carpenter pencils. See, there's also a lumberjack one. So there you go. That's what I class as my controversial choice. Do you consider it being controversial? Do you think the pencil is a hand tool? Coming up next is the final one, number five. But what could it be? But before I mention what number five is, I have just thought of a bonus one. So stick around to the end and see what it is. You might like it. But number five, um, mark and knives. It's, I do like it when you can mark along the line and you can just see the little groove in and then the further you, deeper you go, the more you've got, you're safe in the knowledge that you're not going to go over that line. Now, one thing I've done, like I've used it for, actually, was I did it, um, did almost like a river table in a sense, not a table, but I experimented um, using some hand chisels and with some pine, and I just put the epoxy resin in the middle. In fact, hold on. Here it is. So if you see that. Now what I did was I used the marker knife to go down the grain on both sides. And what that did was it enabled me not to have any tear out on the pine. Because if you know, pine will easily tear out when you're chiseling. That prevented the tear out just by using a marker knife. Now as I see I've got two marker knives. I've got this one which I got from Axminster Tools um, about two years ago and then my latest one which I bought from my Esley which is my purple heart with a copper ferrule Admittedly, haven't had the chance to use it yet. And in fact, I've just put the blade in. Um, so hopefully the next project, I might use this. And here are some close-ups of those. Takes on it, but I was just playing, there, playing about, see what I can do. Again, as I said before, I'll put that let me know what your top five hand tools would be. Uh, I'd be really interested to see what the differences are, or how many people are different and what they consider a hand tool, what they don't consider a hand tool. Um, and also, I'd like to thank all my recent subscribers who joined me within the last week or so. Um, I've had I think nine new subscribers within the last seven, seven or eight days, and that's at the time of recording of this today. 
um, which I'm recording this on Monday. Hopefully ready and get it ready for Friday. So if you want to join, so if you want to join the rest of them, please do subscribe to the channel. The bonus one. If you stuck with it to this so far, thank you for your patience. And here's a bonus item. It is a classic hand draw. And as you can see it's a little bit dusty. So it's one of them. Um, you'll never guess what show I got it from last year. And if you guess Mega Central, you're spot on. Yeah, got it from Mega Central. Um, I've used it quite a few times, especially at night time when I'm down here in the garage and I want to do a bit of work, but I don't want to make too much noise or any noise. So I would just, if I used to need to do some drilling, I would just use that hand drill. And it's actually quite satisfying to use. Hence it's a bonus one.